Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so excited for this um video. I don't know why, but I'm just <sighs> traveling. Traveling changed my life, beautiful souls. And I know it's such a cliche, you know, everyone says, Oh, you travel. Well, traveling really changed my life. It's uh for me it's a lifestyle, I love it. I'm a slow traveler. If you don't know what this means, uh, I have a video about slow traveling. Well, I made it when I was in Madrid. I've been through 10, 12 countries until now. I lived, okay, in five, six countries. So, so when I say live for me, uh, it means that I stay in one country, in one city for more than three months, okay? I do have a home base in Italy, okay? Because um, uh, I prefer to know that I have a place that I can call home. Although for me, I personally feel at home wherever I go, okay? So I mean, home is inside, but hey, I understand. It is beautiful, especially because I have a lot of things, you know, my equipment, all the work equipment, my cards, my books, my memories. So uh, even though I declutter a lot, I still have a lot of things. So having a home base is beautiful because I don't have like, you no, know, a big luggage. Okay, saying this, I love this lifestyle. I love slow traveling. Um, it's just beautiful. For me, it's, just, it's beautiful. It's not stressful because again, I do this traveling that is called slow traveling. So I just give myself time to observe my environment, to know the people, to connect with people. I created so many healthy and happy relationships along my journeys and I am friends with those people and we are, even though we don't, now that we have a distance between us, we always reach to each other and it is so beautiful i've met some of you okay of my viewers of my followers or my clients i met uh, you in my travelings and it was so beautiful um that's what like the most precious moment it is to meet some of you if you don't know what i'm talking about i do have another channel okay um ayana energy readings and there um no if you go there you understand if you come from there you know what i'm talking about okay so yeah because this channel is new and saying this i mean i could talk about why you should consider traveling for hours but i want to make this short so let's say you know that this is something you want to do okay you want to start this you want to start your traveling journey so I, it really doesn't matter what's your situation right now, okay? We are going to use law of attraction. So the circumstances don't matter, okay? When you are very aware, very conscious that you are the, on, uh, the only creator, the absolute creator of your reality, the circumstances really don't matter. So even though your environment right now is like, hmm, okay, you don't like, maybe you don't have financial freedom so before thinking about that think about why you want to travel if it's something that you really feel okay if it's something that you want to do because you want to escape from a certain situation or place i always say before wanting to before consciously and deliberately starting to think about okay to manifest something a specific person a place a location a thing I want you to think why the reason why do you want that thing okay because this is how you understand your vibrational standpoint so where you are right now with your vibration we need to understand this because if you come from lack if you come from uh, unworthiness or if you come from not being good enough or or you know if you come from that mindset first you have to raise your vibration first you have to accept your reality as it is okay how you can do that i have a video about that by going general going neutral you can go and watch that how to ignore your current reality okay watch that and after we, we smooth the energy after you raise your vibration after you are in a you feel in 
you are here in this good place, okay? Now you can manifest, you can deliberately manifest your desired okay, outcome, your desired manifestation. And it's going to come so easy, so beautiful, so natural to you. Why? Because there is no more resistance. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the first step, okay? Number one, understand your reason. Why do you want to manifest traveling, okay? What's your reason? Now that you know where you are, now that you've done, you know, the work, the vibration, raise your vibration, okay? Now, number two, a visualization. Visualization, okay? And this is how you visualize yourself traveling to a certain place i'm going to give i'm going to give this example because i had this comment on my uh on my youtube channel so beautiful follower a beautiful soul told comment okay told me that she wants to manifest a trip to paris or she wants to move to paris because she absolutely loves paris and eiffel tower so in that comment and you can go read that comment if you want um, I think it was on that video how to ignore your current reality. So I explain how it should feel, how this manifestation should go. So this is how I'm just giving this example again. You can apply into your own scenario if you want and if you feel guided and if you need help with that, you can uh, comment down below. Maybe I can help you. If you want, we can have a consultation. If you want to talk more with me, we can have a private consultation. You have all the info in the box, okay? So saying this, let's see. So what I say to this person, okay? So what I'm saying to you, if you want to manifest a trip or a moving to Paris, okay, first, after you've done all the, okay, the work, raising your vibration, going general, accepting where you are, understanding your reason, now in this from this place you can do journaling scripting okay visualization and you can do this and repeat them every day only if you don't have okay only if you don't have the resistance only if you don't feel like whenever you write down it is so beautiful to be in paris right now in this moment so if you write down that sentence and you feel there is a strong unbalance between your desire and between your current reality if you feel like oh this is not real it is okay if you feel that you go back and watch all my videos about ignoring your current reality okay you work with that you work with programming your subconscious belief okay i have a lot of videos about law of attraction you watch that you understand you work with that and you come back so you come back and you script if feel if it feels good to do it every day do it every every day repetition is great if it doesn't do it once this is what i do okay personally i do it once if because i know it is done okay so if you can go into this what we call god state into this state that you already know it is done and you don't have to do the work anymore it is done okay once you are in this state you don't even have to write it but if you don't feel ready you write it in the present moment exactly like this i am so happy and grateful now that i am in paris okay i'm so happy and grateful now that i get to walk on champs elysees i'm so happy and grateful now that i see the eiffel tower it is so beautiful it is like you writing in the journal what you are experiencing what you are seeing okay you can also do this thing this is what i prefer this is what i do in my consultations okay you can actually pretend that you were speaking with a good friend okay so this is kind of a future action but you are going to speak it like in present so let's say you already moved to paris if you want to move to paris you are you've moved to paris and you are living there for a certain per period okay for i don't know time and you call me i'm your friend okay and you just want to tell me and I'm asking you know I say hey honey how's your life in Paris how how are things 
how it is, how it's for you. And you are just going to tell me how beautiful and amazing your life is in Paris, exactly as you are experiencing right now. And you are going to tell me. I'm going to ask. So, um, what do you do in the morning? And you are going to tell me. Okay. Well, I wake up in the morning and I just I open my win I um, open my windows and I just. I don't know. I see the Eiffel Tower from. Can you believe I see the Eiffel Tower from my uh, from my my balcony? Oh, it is amazing, you know. And after I go downstairs, there is this beautiful pastry shop, and I just buy some macaroons, or I don't know. I just buy some pastry and I eat it. And I love my coffee in the morning, you know, or my tea. Um, after I go to my favorite bookstore. Okay, so you can actually search and google that you can go so detailed if you are in that good state you can go very detailed beautiful so it's like you can actually check for a certain bookstore there in paris and you imagine yourself you look at the pictures you know okay on the google images and you look at the pictures and you're like you just imagine yourself being there okay and you you speak with the friend and you say you know so there is this beautiful bookstore that i go every morning uh, or library and I drink my coffee on the terrace and I read this book and I love it I'm going to send you pictures okay so this is what it has to be this this whole movie this scenario you have to speak it see it imagine and visualize it and believe it and trust it as it's feeling so you kind of have to act as you are that character that you're speaking about and that's going to trick your brain because the brain doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is not i know this sounds weird but this is explained by science okay you can go and search about this hmm? but to me this is very easy very simple you have to act and pretend that this is your current reality even though what you see right now it is not a coffee shop for, from Paris but you're going to pretend that it is you can do that even your in your own city you can do that okay beautiful so this is about playfulness this is about imagination this is the the most beautiful uh, how you call this uh, imagination it is what creates using your imagination it is your superpower okay this is why children are in their world they are so happy they live in a high vibration way because they embrace imagination they believe it this is why they are so good at manifesting things until parents come and screw them up but hey we don't go there okay so this is what you can do this was for number two so it was visualization scripting acting as if living in the end okay this is how it's called again if you need more help with this comment down below i'll be happy to respond to your comments so you set your intention okay did i say that okay so you find the reason you set your intention you find the reason why okay first you find the reason then you set your intention then you do the visualization the scripting and living in the end okay when you do all these beautiful souls your manifestation is going to come like magic okay it has to come okay but saying that you've done all this now it is time for number four i think it's number four okay so inspired action beautiful souls how you're going to get to paris if you don't book the ticket how you're going to get to paris if you don't uh, find a place to live there so this is the last step the last step is you already feel that you are doing you know you are doing all the work you already feel that you are there and now you have to follow all that energetic process with an inspired action okay an inspired action means you may i don't know maybe you um speak with a friend that tells you you know what i just want a trip to paris do you want to go well of course you see everything it is possible in this universe everything it is possible all okay? right or you may want you book yourself you book a ticket to paris you have the financial freedom you have the abundance the money came to you and now it's just time for you to book the trip to paris 
you may also see an advertiser okay or an adver you know publicity to a contest and the main prize is hello hello a trip to Paris and you say hmm this is inspired action inspired action is not forcing things okay even when you book the trip if you want to buy the ticket you it has to be very natural very normal it's like you book the ticket to go back home okay this is how you have to feel it okay again not forcing I'm not saying action I'm not saying forced action I'm saying inspired action inspired action is huh I wonder hmm who else I, I want I think I'm going to uh, I don't know buy this uh, lottery ticket it feels good now it's weird it just came now in my reality so hey why not or yes I'm going to apply for this contest or maybe you are just looking on the internet and you see this I don't know advertiser or something like oh new job opportunity to Paris okay again be you know use your mind understand if that's something but the thing is the universe is going to bring you all the way all the means okay don't worry so the inspired action is never forced okay it's ne it's it it doesn't feel like you have to do something it feels like it is great to do that thing it's like the universe is pushing you in such a beautiful way okay people signs okay there are going to be signs from the universe like everything is aligning for you to go to Paris beautiful souls I may actually go to Paris <laughs> after uh, I don't know uh, in, a, in, a, in a month or two do, after doing this video I feel the energy and I was like okay I want to go to Paris now so let's see maybe I'm going the next video well not the next but who knows I'm going to uh, record a video in Paris and I'm going to send you a picture uh, with Eiffel Tower okay so you see this is how it is you have to take this very playful and this is not only for traveling or, or changing location or going to a certain place use this with everything you want to manifest okay these steps are the steps that you have to do when you want to manifest something I explain and I give this example in this video um, because I felt inspired and guided and because I know many of you want to manifest this way of traveling and I, I know that I have this comment and I wanted to help you okay so if you want to go to Paris if you want to go to Spain if you want to go to Milan if you want to go to Rome <sighs> if you want to go to berlin if you want to go to hamburg if you want to go to sydney if you want to go to africa america i don't know mexico where you want to go well you can do it of course you can do it believe it trust it and follow these steps and make sure that you feel good when you do this okay Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful and amazing day. Let me know where you want to go next. Comment down below and maybe we can meet each other. Who knows? Ooh.